Have you heard about this crazy diet everyone's talking about? It's called the carnivore diet, and it's about as straightforward as it gets. You eat meat, and that's about it. We're talking ditching the carbs, the sugars, and even those vegetables your mom always told you to eat. This isn't some fad diet. People are seeing some serious results like next level energy and mental clarity. We're talking feeling better than you ever thought possible. And the best part? You don't have to live off lettuce and carrots. This is about real food, juicy steaks, savory bacon, and delicious fish. So, if you're ready to break free from the boring old diet rules and unleash your inner carnivore, buckle up because we're about to break it all down for you. So what exactly is the carnivore diet? It's pretty simple, which is one of the things that makes it so appealing. You're basically stripping your diet down to the bare essentials, animal products. That means meat, fish, eggs, and maybe some dairy if you can handle it. Think about our ancestors, the hunters and gatherers. They thrived on meat and some people believe that's how we're supposed to eat. One of the biggest benefits people report on the carnivore diet is increased energy. When you're not bogged down by all those carbs and processed junk, your body can finally function the way it's supposed to. And when your body is running smoothly, you just feel better overall. But it's not just about physical energy, it's about mental clarity too. A lot of people say they experience a brain fog lift when they ditch the carbs and sugar. They feel sharper, more focused, and more alert. Okay, so you're on board with the whole carnivore thing, but you're probably wondering, what the heck am I supposed to eat? The good news is, it's not as restrictive as you might think. You've got a surprising amount of options, and let me tell you, they're all delicious. First up, the star of the show meat. We're talking beef, chicken, pork, lamb, you name it. Go for quality cuts, grass-fed if you can swing it. Fish and seafood are also excellent choices on the carnivore diet. Salmon, tuna, shrimp, lobster, the ocean is your oyster, literally. These guys are loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which are super important for brain health. Now let's talk about eggs. Eggs are a nutritional powerhouse packed with protein, healthy fats, and all sorts of vitamins and minerals. And if you can tolerate it, dairy can also be a part of the carnivore diet. Think full fat cheese, butter, and even heavy cream in your coffee. Let's talk about meat, baby. This is the cornerstone of the carnivore diet, so we're going to break it down and get into the nitty gritty. First up, beef. It's a classic for a reason. Steak, roasts, ground beef, the possibilities are endless. Look for grass-fed beef whenever possible. It's higher in nutrients and has a richer flavor. Next, we've got chicken. It's lean, versatile, and a great source of protein. Pork is another great option. Bacon, sausage, pork chops, it's all fair game on the carnivore diet. And don't forget about lamb, lamb chops, lamb shanks. It's a delicious and often overlooked meat. Remember, the key to enjoying the carnivore diet is to keep your meals interesting. All right, all you landlubbers, let's talk about the bounty of the sea. Fish and seafood are fantastic additions to your carnivore diet, packed with protein, healthy fats, and essential nutrients. First up, we've got the king of fish salmon. This fatty fish is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which are crucial for brain health, heart health, and reducing inflammation. Plus, it's got a rich, buttery flavor that's absolutely delicious. Tuna is another great option. It's leaner than salmon, but still packed with protein and nutrients. Now let's talk shellfish, shrimp, crab, lobster, these guys are all fair game on the carnivore diet. When it comes to cooking seafood, simplicity is key. Grilling, baking, or pan frying are all great methods. All right, let's talk about dairy. This one's a bit controversial, even in the carnivore community. Some people thrive on dairy, while others find it causes digestive issues or inflammation. If you're new to the carnivore diet, it's a good idea to experiment with dairy cautiously and see how your body reacts. If you do choose to include dairy, make sure you're choosing high-quality, full-fat options. Think grass-fed butter, heavy cream, and hard cheeses. These are the most nutrient-dense options and are less likely to cause digestive problems. Now, if you're someone who's sensitive to dairy, don't worry. You can still enjoy the carnivore diet without it. The key is to listen to your body and do what feels best for you. Let's talk about eggs, baby. These little guys are nutritional powerhouses packed with protein, healthy fats, vitamins, and minerals. They're a staple on the carnivore diet for a reason. First off, eggs are an excellent source of protein. One large egg contains around 6 grams of protein, making them a great way to fuel your muscles and keep you feeling full and satisfied. Eggs are also loaded with essential nutrients like choline, which is important for brain health, and lutein and zeaxanthin, which are antioxidants that protect your eyes from damage. When it comes to cooking eggs, the possibilities are endless. Scrambled, fried, poached, boiled. 
you can cook them however you like. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about eggs on the carnivore diet. All right, folks, let's talk about organ meats. I know, I know, it's not the most appetizing topic, but trust me on this one. Organ meats are a nutritional goldmine, and they deserve a place on your plate. Back in the day, our ancestors didn't just eat the muscle meat of animals, they ate the whole animal, including the organs. For example, liver is one of the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. It's loaded with vitamin A, iron, B vitamins, and copper. You can start by trying them in small amounts, mixed in with ground meat or in soups and stews. So there you have it, a quick rundown of the benefits of organ meats and how to incorporate them into your diet. The carnivore diet is pretty straightforward, but there are still a few common mistakes that people make. Let's go over them so you can avoid falling into these traps. Mistake number one, not eating enough fat. Remember, fat is your primary source of energy on this diet, so you need to make sure you're eating enough of it. Mistake number two, not drinking enough water. When you're cutting out carbs, your body holds on to less water, so it's essential to make sure you're staying hydrated. Mistake number three, not getting enough electrolytes. Electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and magnesium are crucial for maintaining proper fluid balance and muscle function. Mistake number four, eating too much protein. While protein is essential on the carnivore diet, eating too much of it can actually be counterproductive. Mistake number five, not listening to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels on the carnivore diet and make adjustments as needed. So you're feeling good on the carnivore diet, but you're worried about how to stick with it long term. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here are some tips and tricks to help you stay on track and make this a sustainable lifestyle change. Tip number one, meal prep like a boss. Spend a few hours on the weekend batch cooking your favorite carnivore friendly meals and you'll have a fridge full of ready to eat food for the week. Tip number two, find your tribe. Join online forums, Facebook groups, or even local meetups to connect with other carnivore enthusiasts. Tip number three, don't be afraid to experiment in the kitchen. Try new recipes, experiment with different spices and herbs, and find new ways to prepare your favorite cuts of meat. Tip number four, be prepared for social situations. Plan ahead by scoping out the menu beforehand or offering to bring a carnivore-friendly dish to share. Tip number five, focus on the benefits. When you're feeling tempted to cheat or give up, remind yourself of all the amazing benefits you're experiencing on the carnivore diet. Tip number six, be kind to yourself. So there you have it, the ins and outs of the carnivore diet. We've covered a lot of ground, from the benefits to the potential drawbacks, the foods to eat and the ones to avoid, and tips for staying on track. Now it's up to you to decide if this way of eating is right for you. Remember, this isn't about deprivation or restriction. It's about nourishing your body with nutrient-dense foods that make you feel your absolute best. Now, I know changing your diet can seem daunting, but trust me, it's worth it. You got this. You got... So, you're well on your way to becoming a carnivore diet pro. You've ditched the carbs, embraced the meat, and you're feeling amazing. But let's be real, even carnivores deserve a treat now and then, right? What if I told you that you could enjoy delicious, mouth-watering cakes without derailing your progress? That's right, carnivore-friendly cakes are a thing, and they're about to rock your world. In our next video, we're diving deep into the delicious world of carnivore diet cakes. We'll be sharing our favorite recipes, tips, and tricks for creating decadent desserts that will satisfy your sweet tooth without sacrificing your health goals. So, if you're ready to take your carnivore journey to the next level, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.